Good afternoon. My name is Kurt Barnes, currently assigned to traffic operations to the City Enforcement Motorcycle Unit. Uh, last night, August 27th, 2019, one of our officers was uh, pursuing a violator, uh, started out to uh, go after the violator, and at that time, uh, the vehicle lost control and he sustained serious injuries and was transported to Denver Health. The uh, main thing we really want to talk about specifically is the safety of our construction zones. Right now we have the I-70 project that is going on. This is huge, the amount of people that are still traveling through this. We need to ask the uh, community to please be aware that this is a construction zone, to be aware that uh, there are workers out there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that they're out there doing a job and that we're uh, very concerned for their safety. Uh, the officer was out there doing speed enforcement, trying to get people to slow down in that construction zone uh, when uh, the uh, crash occurred. Uh, the officer was trans uh, transported to Denver Health, uh, where he is still there today uh, because of his injuries. Uh, he did sustain uh, serious injuries, uh, there were multiple fractures, and so we're pretty much asking everybody to be aware of these construction zones and also just traffic safety. You know, uh, reduce your speeds in these uh, construction zones. But not only that, be aware, put your cell phones down, uh, you know, take away any type of distraction uh, that you have, but please make sure that you're safe for yourself and also for uh, the uh, community around you and also the construction workers and the officers out there doing flagging. What can you tell us about this officer? Uh, the officer is a 15-year veteran with the Denver Police Department. Uh, he is currently assigned to traffic operations on the afternoon uh, team and uh, he's been uh, with traffic operations for the last few years uh, and is also one of our motorcycle officers. How did you guys find out about the crash? Was he able to call for help or was it someone else driving by that stopped and called? Or how were you made aware of the crash? There were multiple calls uh, for uh, assistance for the officer. The officer was unable uh, to call for help. Does your initial investigation show like gravel on the roadway or anything that would have caused the bike to go down or lose control? The investigation is still continuing. Our traffic investigation unit is uh, doing a thorough investigation on that to determine not only uh, the causation of the accident but also uh, the vehicle speed and we're hoping that we can actually glean something from that uh, so that these type of accidents don't occur again. I know you're a motorcycle officer yourself. Just generally speaking, what are the big challenges of that job, especially when you're doing speed enforcement in a construction zone? The big thing about motorcycles is uh, they're extremely um, maneuverable. You're able to maneuver in and out of traffic very uh, easily. The bad thing is not everybody sees them. Not everybody is aware that uh, you're out there doing enforcement. So we really have to be aware. It's, uh, we call it head on the swivel, where you're constantly looking at your surroundings, making sure uh, that you're safe and that also the other community around you is also safe. I know in some other cities, motorcycle officers uh, patrol in, in pairs, uh, so they're not alone. We are actually considered solo motorcycle officers. I try to ride with a partner anytime I can. Uh, you open up so much more uh, availability to see different violations. Uh, you, now you have uh, two sets of eyes that are actually paying attention and aware of the circumstances, but it's also aware of any type of hazard too. Uh, that's a big thing. Uh, if you see something um, that you can let your partner know, uh, but you can also receive that information from your partner. It's a great opportunity opportunity to have a partner, but it's not always uh, available. The driver, uh, the driver that the officer was pursuing, did that person comply or were you still looking for them? Or 
At this point, that por uh, portion of the investigation is still continuing. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually made contact with that person. I'm not even sure if that person was even aware uh, that the officer was, you know, uh, going after them, you know, trying to contact them. It was more of a situation that the officer went down, and thank goodness that the people who were behind, they're the ones who stopped. And would you think the witnesses or people that started to kind of rush in to, to help, is that kind of what happened after their, the crash? Oh, very much so. We're very thankful. Very thankful that they stopped to help. How many motorcycle officers does the department have? Uh, Denver has uh, officers out at Denver International Airport. Uh, we have the Denver Mall Unit, and then we have traffic operations. Uh, so we have three different uh, distinct uh, groups, uh, probably close 50 to 75 officers. Uh, the districts also have uh, the Zeros, which is the uh, electric motorcycle. So there's even a few of uh, those officers out doing enforcement and also uh, patrolling the areas. Uh, were you able to visit the hospital last night to see the officer? Yes, I did go down last night and I was able to talk to him. So he was talking last night. Is there anything you can share about how he's doing beyond his condition? Uh, considering the uh, number of fractures that he has, uh, he's doing extremely well. Do you have any ballpark numbers on how many uh, recent crashes have involved motorcycles with DPD in the last few years? Or no worries about that? I really don't. No, you know, no, no information like that. That would be something that we would probably get from our statistician or through our traffic investigations unit. Just anecdotally, is this something that happens often? How would you characterize this type of crash involving motorcycle officer? It's always something that's in the back of your head. You know, you're constantly aware uh, of your surroundings, of the road surface, making sure uh, this section of the road was uh, had recently been roto milled. Uh, that's always a fun proposition on a motorcycle, uh, but differing uh, types of roads, uh, everything from you know concrete to blacktop to roto milled. You're always aware of that circumstance, and you're trying to do the best you can to control your motorcycle. Will you guys make any changes going forward when it comes to enforcement with construction zones being later in the evening or you know, using motorcycles as part of that enforcement? Any changes? No changes that I can think of, nothing that I really see in the near future. I can tell you that uh, enforcement will probably uh, increase just because of the fact that we are seeing a need uh, for the enforcement as from this accident there. It's definitely evident that uh, there is an issue and that's what we need to address, you know, for the safety of everybody. Yeah, is there anything you want to reiterate to drivers, especially I-70, that project is going to be going on for a long time? You know, I would really have to stress, most important, traffic safety, slow down. Be aware of your circumstances. The roads are narrowing, you know, while they're doing this construction. Uh, the lanes are changing. The lane from when you traveled the same road the week before might be different. Uh, make sure that you're aware of that. Look for the barriers out there. Look for the construction workers. If the construction workers are out there, if you see one, you're not seeing probably, you know, uh, 10 to 15 additional ones that are supporting them. So be aware of that. Slow down. Set your phone down. No distractions while you're driving. You know, that, I would say that's probably the most important thing. I would really stress to our motoring public to be aware that, number one, that there's uh, construction going on, but secondly, that there's workers performing that construction, and there might be officers out there doing enforcement in that construction zone. This was only the Denver Police Department. Thank you, Kurt. Appreciate it. Thank you.